Hey guys, Clawwolf here, and I'm back today with another 1.11 creation, just as 1.11 released yesterday. Um, this one is a little creation um, that is just kind of like my last one where I had the Evoker spell. This one is something using the Vex, and again, making a kind of like a little spell for Minecraft. Um, so anyway, um, so when you go to a mansion, you're going to find Evokers, which are these guys. So Evokers, what they'll drop is a uh, Totem of Undying. And if you're lucky, when you get a third, there's a 33% chance that you'll get this thing called Vex Swarm. And uh, it was originally going to be a staff, but I decided to make it a potion because um, it looks better as a potion. And it says right click to Puff the Magic Vex. Three uses. Um, Hawk Miner wanted me to name it Puff the Magic Vex, like Puff the Magic Dragon. Um, and as you can see, you don't get it every time when you kill them. It's just 33% chance, so it's pretty balanced. And it also says three uses, so you can only use this three times. So what this does is when you crouch when holding it, it's going to puff the magic vex, per se. It's going to shoot vex out of your mouth, and you're going to look like a dragon, and it's going to be pretty awesome. So let's just look at it real quick. Oh, let's do it again. There you go. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, so basically you just spit Vex everywhere. There's Vex all over the air. But if you notice, let's go into game mode 2. Look, the Vex aren't attacking me. They're my friends. The Vex are my allies. And if I summon an Iron Golem, Iron, oh, Villager Golem, uh, right here, they will actually attack him, I believe. So, maybe. Anyway. Um, but point being, it summons these Vex that are going to fight for you. They're going to fight enemies and uh, other teammates. Uh, not teammates, other uh, other people in the game. Uh, if you were doing this on a survival PvP world, you could fight other people. Um, and it's it's really cool, and it'll be a, it's a really cool addition. Um, also, you have three uses, so you I just used it three times. That was my third use. You just can't tell because, yeah, the way that it counts the uses is it just says, oh, if a player uses three overall, it's going to take it away. Sorry, I couldn't really link it to the item. It's just the type of item that it is. Um, there's no way to cheat this if you're wondering at that I'm aware of. If you try, if you look, if you try and do this, uh, well, let me just use it three times. There you go. One, two. Oh, also, when you take the item off, Let's just check this out. If I'm not holding it, uh, they're all going to attack me. So it doesn't lock the player in a team. And if you want, I'm going to show at the very end how to change the team um, so that you don't accident. So it doesn't like mess with if you have this in a mini game where players are on a specific team. You can just add the Vex to that team. That way the player doesn't get attacked. Of course, it may bug if you're trying to use this for a mini game. Um, now I'm going to do this and I'm going to put them. Oh, put them all in a chest. I'm lagging. Okay, I did not, oh, and I died. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I did not lose any of these, but once I put it back and I try and use one, there you go, 62. So it basically, it doesn't remove it until unless you're holding it and it's waiting for you to remove it. And once it removes it, it resets it and it rechecks to check your scoreboard. Um, so anyway, let's just do a quick little battle. I think I know you, I'm probably not the dragon okay. prize. It's gonna be all Everybody over stand close, everybody stand close. Okay, so Saturation, let's just everyone. go over this again. Okay, so let me New. give everybody weakness. And let me give everybody health boost. And let me give everybody saturation. This is the only time you get saturation, though. You don't get it a second time. Okay, so last person alive gets hashtag respect. You have to try and survive as long as you can. This is going to get nutty. Oh, God. Are you ready? No. Yeah. Ready, set, go. Hello, Pandy. Okay, oh, here it goes. Ew. Oh, it's this. Puff, okay, puff, fine. pass, guys. <laughs> Why do you have a Just keep moving with all. Hey! Hey! <laughs> this isn't right! <laughs> I'm gonna you're die now! Because you're aiming at me! <laughs> that wasn't right! Oh, no, 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 everyone log off! That ended it quick! Everyone log off! That ended it quick! John Alot is win! John Alot is win! John Alot is win! Hashtag no, respect! No, 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 you. No, 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 no. no, no. I never you said I couldn't change me. the game. I'm just, no, I can't, there's no way it. I can die. There's no way I can die. I'm on their team. <laughs> so back again, here we are. Um, this is going to be a structure file. You're just going to have to grab the structure block and you're going to have to place it down somewhere in your world. Go to load and put the name of Vex. What it, It'll probably be Vex Swarm like that. And then click load, load, and it will load something like this. And all you have to do is just flick the switch. It'll be up. 
You just click it down. Um, it'll have a cool little title for you guys. Um, it creates three scoreboards and a team for the Vex so that they can be on your team, but uh, you can always alter that. Um, and then this is all the commands. Uh, it's pretty simple. It just has one command so that the um, the evokers get the special items that drop, and then the rest of the commands just are kind of complicated. Um, it's really only these commands that do anything, and then maybe the top row. Uh, the rest are just for looks so that it puffs the magic dragon, or <laughs> so it puffs the magic vex, and, um, and then it plays the sound and spawns the vex. Uh, let's see, why am I getting lag? I don't know. Okay, um, it's pretty simple. It just, all that happens is it tests if you're holding it, and if you crouch, and if you crouch, then it'll add one to the amount that you have, and then it's going to um, summon all these Vex and start the countdown. And then when the countdown gets to zero after doing all the summoning, because the countdown is what determines when to summon things at certain times, as you can see, this is like, eh. This command here is doing summoning the Vex if you have a 34, so it's counting down from 100. Um, once it gets to zero, it's going to... Um, it's going to add one to the amount to detect how many times you've, um, how many times you've used it, and it's basically just going to reset all the other scoreboards, um, and then if your amount used is at three and you're holding it, it'll just clear one. So, quick little rundown of what's going on, um, not a little bit complex, uh, in reasoning, but there's not too many commands to go through, but I'm not going to go through it in this video. Now, if you want to change the team that they get tagged, they have to be on the same team as the player that uses it. Otherwise, it will not, uh, make it, or otherwise the player will just be attacked by them. So if you just want the player to be attacked by them, so it's just kind of a troll because you already have teams and you don't want to mess with anything, then just delete this command block here that says scoreboard teams join Vex Swarm. You can delete it and just replace it with, like, like a regular command block like that. So it's empty. Um, and then you can also delete this next one, which is, uh, this one right here. So, um, this is going to join players, so you can delete that one too. I'll, I just have a, I'll just have a sign on this, on the side of the command block that says you can delete this if you don't want teams. And then the last one is you can delete this one, which leaves the player from the team. Um, you can delete that like so, and it will still work. It's just players will not be on the same team, so they'll be attacked by the Vex even if you summon it. Um, if you want to change it, you can just change the team that the Vex want to join to like whatever the name of your team is, the like Team Blue if you're doing this on teams, and then you can change uh, the player to, you can just delete this next one because this joins the player to the team, so they'll always be on Blue team, so the Vex are on the Blue's team. And then uh, I guess you can also get rid of this one too, uh, so you just need to join them on, the Vex on the proper team. A little bit more complicated, if you want me to um, if you want me to, uh, kind of help you more in depth, if you plan on using this, I don't think anybody will use it for a minigame, but if you plan to use it in a minigame, just contact me in the comments or something, and I can help you work it out personally. Um, other than that, guys, that was all there was for this. Uh, I know you liked the last 1.11 creation, and I liked making it, so I went a little bit more complicated on this one. Um, but other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.